Hi, this is David, and thanks for checking out my video. With this video, what I wanted to show is just real life things that happened in the studio. So here's what we have is we have a bra strap that decided to show itself today. And this is going to be a really easy fix. Uh, what we have here is we have this bra strap stopping halfway. So we have all this area here that we can use to copy. So I'm going to actually grab the lasso tool, and I'm just going to draw around the area that I want to have. Um, we're making a selection out of this area and we're going to do a command J to copy that. So now we have this selection that we just made on its own layer and we're going to basically grab the move tool and then just come up here and move this to the area we want it. Now what we want to do is spin it and stretch it out. So I'm going to hit the free transform which is a command T and that allows us to spin the object. And what we're going to try and do is line this up and sort of follow the same line as the shirt. So here it doesn't quite fit, so I'm going to right click over the transformation and do a warp. And with a warp, what that allows you to do is basically just pull this to the area you need it to go to. So we're going to try and follow the same line of the shirt. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We can always come back in here and adjust it in a few minutes. If we don't quite get it right, we can always come back and just kind of tweak it a little more. So now that we have that done, we're going to go ahead and commit the selection. That's a little check button up here. We're just going to click that, and that's going to go ahead and commit that. And then now this doesn't still doesn't look right. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a mask to it. We're going to that's a little square with a circle in it, and that creates a mask over the the selection. And then we want to paint in black because white allows the, uh, the selection to show through, or the copy, I suppose I should say. And what we want to do is paint and sort of cover some of that up. So we're going to paint in black to cover that up. So we're going to hit our paintbrush and make sure we have black selected as a foreground color. And just come in here and paint. I do need to change my opacity to 100. And we can just kind of paint the areas that would show normally. Uh, we want it to be a little smoother transition. Um, this didn't look so good, so I'm just going to paint that out. And what I'm going to do is change the opacity here to make it a little smoother transition. So I'm going to drop the opacity back to about half. And just come in here on the skin tones and just paint real gently just to smooth the transition out. And here what we've done is we've actually gone a little too far. So what we can do, once we zoom in here, we can actually see the area. And what we want to do is just bring that back. So what we can do is just, since we're using a layer mask, we can just paint in white. So we're going to go ahead and swap the foreground color to the background color. We want to paint in white. So to do that, I'm just going to hit the letter X, which swaps the foreground to the background color. And we can just come in here and just kind of redraw that back in. And that's what's really nice about working with masks is it allows you the ability to swap back and forth and toggle back and forth. As I'm going to do again, I'm going to hit X again to toggle back to the other. And then we just kind of come in here and clean it up again. So what, that, what that's done is that's created a real nice smooth transition with the shirt. We've removed the bra strap. We've kept the shadow uh, real similar to what we have down here. And it just looks a lot more natural. Uh, this isn't something that I'm sure you'll run across in every situation, but what I'm trying to do is just show you what's up, what you're able to do so that when you run into some other circumstance, you'll be able to use this possibly for that. Uh, thanks for checking out my video, and uh, thanks for watching.